Okay, sometimes you need to know what the actual Windows key that came embedded on your um, Elite Desk 800. Um, a lot of times they don't put the sticker on there and they just assume that you, when you go to install Windows, the installer is going to pull it. But what if you need to uh, create a uh, Windows VM and you need a legit um, a Windows key? You can, uh, you know, so you're going to need it. You can pull it from there. What if you change the motherboard and you'd like to retain the code from the prior motherboard uh, because the new one's going to have its own because it's going to have, you know, new BIOS, the whole thing. So it's another, um, you know, reason you may want to get it. Um, every once in a while, the methods I'm going to show don't work because for whatever reason they didn't embed it on my 65 watt G2. They didn't embed it. None of the methods work on it, but they do have the actual sticker. It's the only one of my units that I can recall that actually has the sticker for the um, Windows key. So obviously I keep that around and uh, you know protect it. But this is uh, again a way um, going to present uh, uh, four methods: two that rely on Linux and two that rely on Windows. Um, so let's first try the one for. Um, Proxmox. So I've got my um, environment here and this um, PVE3 that you're seeing here is actually um, <clears throat> just to show that it works on so many different um, setups. This is actually a, um, a G1. Uh, I'm using it for my um, kind of a secondary NAS. Um, so if I highlight the particular node and then go into um, shell. Now, I want to point out this particular um, can be, you know, way of doing it, I would assume would be able to work with any uh, Linux environment uh, as long as it's, you know, talking directly to the system and it's not in a, a virtual mode. But what we want to do is to type in um, cat and then you've got this whole command here the sys firmware ACPI tables MSDM uh, and then we're going to uh, pipe it uh, to a um, uh, or I should say uh, redirect to just a file called Windows key so we run that uh, now what we can do is if we do a cat on that guy everything from here over is your Windows key. Now this has been changed obviously just, just to mask uh, uh, what my uh, particular one is but yours will look the same in terms of the grouping. So that's basically was it one two three, five groupings of five. So that's what you want to look for. Now you can save this off um, so that that way then you have it available. So that's the way that you'd want to do it. Uh, and this will again work in, um, try it in the uh, um, G1, G2, G3, G4. It works all the same. So next we'll try the Windows method. Okay, for this one, I'm going to run our um, Win10 XPE as an environment. So what you want to do is go to this um, uh, neosmart.net OEM key. And um, this is just showing an example of what it looked like. You want to do your download. Uh, you could just say you don't need to put in your information. You can just download it. It's pretty small. And then we just want to run it. And there you'd have your uh, product key, the same um, five groups of five. Uh, of course, where you see a bunch of X's here would have your actual normal code there. So that's one way where you can get that uh, product key. Okay, now we'll do the Windows method. Um, I've booted into, um, this is technically win to go, but really it's, it's just normal Windows. So what we'd want to do is we need to open up a uh, command prompt. So we could do a search for CMD, uh, right click, run as admin. Okay, 
then the command we're going to, um, and I'll put this in the link so that you can cut, cut and paste it, is this uh, wmic uh, path command. And if we run it, we'll see that that um, uh, it will also print out the key. This was this was run on the same um, computer uh, G two six thirty five watt that um, I ran the um, Win ten XPE with using that NeoSoft um, software. So you get the same results, but this is uh, one way. I'm going to show one other. This is a case where um, you don't want to, you don't have Proxmox, you don't have Windows, but maybe you can at least pull down some uh, uh, Linux distribution, even if it's the live CD, something you can boot to and be able to go into uh, terminal. So what I'm running here is uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon Live CD. This is basically the ISO that you would pull down from their website and then um, uh, make a uh, USB uh, drive from it. And then uh, when you boot to it, normally you would go through and do the install. But all I did was I just went down here, opened up a terminal, and then I'm going to run that same command to get the, um, uh, the Windows key. And now we can view the um, that Windows uh, key uh, file. And the same thing. This is the part here that we're interested in. These the five groups of five. And then, so again, that's another way that you can get that code.